Okay, welcome to E Town Tunes. This is episode one. My name is Tim Lister. This is. What's up? It's Gavi, also known as Bimpin. All right, yeah, this is E Town Tunes. This is the first ever music podcast here at Evanston Township. And we are your one stop shop for all things music related in the Evanston community. So, Gavi, tell me about yourself. What's so, up? Um, my name is Gavi. I'm a junior here at ETHS. Uh, I, I've been making music and producing music under the name Bimpin for a long time. I uh, started when I was nine years old. Um, I'm 17 now, so yeah, wow. just enjoying what I'm doing. Yeah, that is a, that's a long time. When did yeah, you start, yeah. like, kind of doing your rapping thing and everything? Um, I'd probably say, like, eighth grade, I started putting, putting music out there. Um, and uh, with support from, like, friends in middle school, too, so definitely like a very uh it, i was heavy in the community part of it so like i, I definitely brought my resources together yeah and, yeah it's great i remember like coming to school on a day that you would drop a song yeah. or anything and, and it was like it was like the new thing yeah. that was out it was like the buzz it was like stream stream this new song stream this it just came out and it was like it's kind of a, a <laughs> yeah. big thing and like for, yeah. i don't know i don't know that's just how it was I like felt. middle school yeah it no, was, i totally remember that it was great it was yeah. so fun um so yeah, do you have any, like, musical experience? Like, do you play any instruments or... Yeah, uh, I play piano. Um, play a little bit of guitar. Not not very well, but, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I've been taking piano lessons for a long time. Um, and that's definitely been key to, like, supporting yeah. um, my production. For sure. Yeah. Do you make your own beats as well? Or is it just um, the vocal side? I kind of executively produce, like, everything, but... Yeah. Um, I'd say like everything's my vision, um, but I, I work with other people. Yeah. Definitely also like in Evanston too. I uh, at ETHS, For I've sure. worked with yeah. other artists. Have you like? Do you have any um, places where you can meet people like consistently and find collaborators to work with on your music? Definitely, yeah. Um, I would say now it's definitely a little bit easier to do that. Uh, I've been. I've been doing classes like outside of school, uh, learning like music production, sure. um, all of that. So, as far as like that sense, like definitely. And then uh, over the years, I've been going to like industry events and uh, panels. Super like super important to learn from other people. Yeah. Um, and those have all been super helpful. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I can imagine you working with like. Um, do you when you record? Is it like in a professional studio, or do you do like home recording stuff? Or? Yeah, usually. Um, I guess now more it's more of a professional setting. Uh, I wor- I record most of my stuff at Chicago Recording Company in downtown. Um, and I I built a home studio. Um, in like seventh grade as well. Uh, in my basement. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. My mom, my mom let me put up drywall and do the whole thing myself, which That's is it's amazing. Yeah. So what I was gonna say, who are you really trying to like um, emulate when you're making music? Like, do you have right. direct influences or like, like who are you kind of? Yeah. Um. I mean, when I started off, uh, like making music, I wanted, I like that style of like Travis Scott. I, I really like that like those trap beats, um, and, like, that whole, like, melodic, um, rap Mm -hmm. genre, but, um, like, as I've grown, I've realized that's just not, like, who I am, uh, like, when I make music, like, I'm not really making it for other people, like, I don't know, um, uh, (laughs) yeah, I'm, I'm definitely just more, I kind of just, like, feel, feel it out and see, see what I want to do, uh, Usually I'm just making in the studio, um, but if I if I like a song, sometimes I'll like bring a little bit of that influence yeah, into it. That's yeah, great. yeah, love Travis Scott. I I saw him uh, in Chicago. Oh, same. Yeah, it was yeah, really, yeah, big. It was so much fun. Um, so cool. Yeah. So has your cha- has your like taste in music kind of changed along with that? Like as your style has started to evolve, like yeah, the actual production side of it. Like, yeah. Um, I mean. I'm definitely ex- like exposed to more music, so um, I'm seeing more. Uh, and I like kind of um, like when an artist puts out a song. Uh, now I'm like kind of able to like dissect that creative direction, which is cool. Um, yeah, that's great. And that's definitely like influenced my uh, 
like what I like to listen to. Um, so it's like, yeah, um, I definitely listen to more music than I like did, and uh, yeah, it kind of it kind of influences directly. Yeah, that's great. I can yeah. totally see that. Like, you kind of have you like gained an appreciation for um, music now uh, that you have started yeah. making it on your own? For sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, I've I've been trying to see like more. Um, like rock bands. I just saw Goose in Chicago. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I just try to get out and see as much like new music as possible. Yeah. Um, it's just like good to see and like yeah, see new things. I can yeah. imagine you're you're probably become pretty familiar with like the Chicago new music scene. Like, would you say that's yeah, true? yeah, yeah. There's um definitely a community there. Yeah. Um, a lot of like probably like smaller rappers. Um, and so like as far as rap, I'm pretty familiar with that community. Um, a lot of like Evanston like alumni. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I, uh, I mean, I know a few people have like gone pretty big. Um, working on like big labels now, which is super cool. Uh, doing like social media, uh, whatever. But, um, yeah, I mean. The community here is definitely like very strong in Chicago and Evanston. Um so it's like it's good to stay tapped in with them. Um but yeah, I'm pretty familiar with all of them. Yeah, that's sweet. Um yeah, about your creative kind of process, like how you go about making a song. Do you typically start off um with making the beat or do you yeah. like to write lyrics down or like have a rough idea of it before you get into it? Yeah. Um so right now, uh, I'm trying to think what I did. Uh, I just recorded a song yesterday. Um, Sweet. It varies for sure. Uh, I would say um, usually uh, producers will send me loops, but now that like if I'm producing my own my own song, I want to sometimes I'll just like be in front of a keyboard or a synthesizer or something and just start kind of like down. Um, it's usually how it starts, and then I'll I'll write lyrics or like kind of freestyle a little bit into, like, a microphone, mm-hmm. and then... Kind of get, like, a, like a yeah. flow going or something. Right, right, yeah. and a melody, um, and harmonies and all that. Um, but, yeah, uh, that's usually how I start. And then from there, I'll uh, write lyrics and um, mixing, mixing and mastering. Yeah. I'll have my engineer do, but, yeah. Yeah, is that... So, yeah, you mentioned your engineer yeah. does, handles that stuff. Is that right. kind of crossing into, like, the too technical side of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Is it... Is that... Have you uh, dove into that at all, or is that more? I've done it. Um, yeah, no, I've I've definitely like been doing it for a while. Uh, I've been mixing all of my own, um, all of my own vocals and beats and everything. Yeah. Um, and then there's just a certain point where it's just like too time consuming. Yeah. Um, and now I'm working with a, a guy uh, out in LA. He's super sick. Um, great dude. He's worked with like big names like SZA. Uh, He's done like shit like Twenty One Savage, like hella hella people. Um, he he's cool, yeah. Yeah, that's great. I mean, those are big names. Man. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's that's cool. pretty cool. I, um, you say. Yeah, yeah. Um, so do you plan on pursuing this full time as you kind of Probably. going through? Yeah, like, high school um, and everything. Yeah, yeah. I would say um, that's my goal. I want. I definitely want to do this. Uh. Hopefully, like for the rest of my life, I, I love it. But um, yeah. um, and now I feel like I'm at a point like where, like I can't just like stop it. You know, like I, I enjoy it too, but like, um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, commit yourself to it. Oh yeah. It. Yeah, it's great. Just go for it. I mean, yeah. It seems like it's really working out for you. I feel like every time I check, uh, like either a social media post or like. I've gone on your website. It just gets more. There's like more and more buzz around Thank your you. name, and I I don't know. I Appreciate just think it's it. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. It, it's definitely like, I think growing uh, takes a lot of time. You have to really learn, um, learn like how to grow yourself as an artist and what like your, like how you can market yourself because everybody's so different. Like I feel like now everybody tries to go for like one genre or like one way of marketing themselves as an artist or putting themselves out there. But you really just have to find your direction and like who you are, you know. I uh, kind of go that that route, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah, that's great. Like find 
kind of your path. Like you don't have to do what everyone else is doing. I love that. Um, right. Yeah. Do you have anything that you're working on specifically right now? Like any plans for a, an album, an EP? Yeah. Just new singles keep coming out or what? Yeah, yeah. Right now I'm working on, um, I'm going to put out probably a single in the next like month um, or so. And then I'm working on an album on the back end. Uh, I have like two or three really, really cool features on that, which I'm really, really excited for. Nice. Um, like pretty mainstream, I'd say. Um, and then uh, I'd say other than that, I have a few singles like in the works. I'm gonna probably yeah. to figure out when to roll those out, but yeah. I think it'll be cool. That's yeah. great. That's gonna be that's gonna be a big thing. I'm really I'm excited. excited. Yeah, that. that'll thank be you. great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um. But how do you balance all of that while also being a student and having like a life outside of that? How, that is that. I feel like that's got to be a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, no, it's it's crazy. Um, I don't I don't like. Um, I mean now I'm doing like, I would say like somewhat hard classes, like definitely taking on like APs and all that. Uh, and it's not easy. Uh, I would say like, time management is like very important. Uh probably have like three or f like four five maybe hours of homework every night so um i'm up late like almost every every night uh just like either making music or marketing my own or yeah creating a plan for it doing something like yeah. with music uh, <laughs> i can imagine it's a bit of a struggle if someone's trying to rush you to you know get yeah. a verse in or send some nah, you know, get a beat over and you're like I got, a, I got a math test yeah tomorrow i gotta, yeah. gotta work on that um you mentioned marketing and um like social media and i feel like now is do content creators and like musicians sort of have to put more energy into the marketing side yeah. of music oh for sure um if you like um i was putting music out for a while and i didn't know like what marketing was i didn't know like I barely post on social media uh and when i did it was like very like corny um, yeah corny <laughs> um yeah uh yeah, you, you really have to, like, know how to market yourself. It's, like, half of making music. If you really want people to hear your music, you have to know, like, how to put it out and market it. And, um, I mean, that's just, like, there's so much more, like, under marketing. Um, I'd say, like, with making music and marketing, your brand, it, like, comes first. Like, your appearance and all of that uh, really does come first. And then under that, you... you do your marketing, you do, uh, you make the music, but, uh, like, under marketing, you, you really have to, like, learn distribution, you have to learn how to, like, I don't know, just put yourself out there, yeah. like, social media is super important. Yeah, just, like, networking with everyone. Yeah. You know, kind of getting your name out there more. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's pretty great. Do you ever feel like, um, kind of your, your, keep putting stuff out, and you keep, um, pushing out new releases and old releases, and it's just, you can't really get anywhere? Do you ever have that kind of feeling? Um, I think I did. I definitely did. Uh, I think now probably not. Um, I like I've I do all my own marketing and promoting and all that. Uh, and uh, I've gone good with like time management. But when I put out a song, I I definitely have like expectations for it, uh, which might not be a good thing. But I've I set my bar high. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's hard not to. If you work yeah. really hard on that oh, piece yeah. of art, I can imagine like you kind of want that yeah. good reception to it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So much goes into the back end, like hours and so much money and like yeah, <laughs> um, all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you mentioned you're doing pretty much all this stuff on your own. Yeah. Besides, we were talking about earlier mixing and mastering and all that. Um, you're fully independent, right? Like, but are you assigned to? Yeah. yeah, it's probably good to get a little bit of help out there. Like, yeah, 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 it's hard. That's pretty sweet. Um, I don't know if you're gonna have a an answer for me on this one. What is a great piece of advice that you've gotten from someone either in the music industry or yeah. what would be cool would be like somebody else completely that you found really resonated with you and your music? Do you, do you have anything? For sure, yeah. Um, holy shit, I've uh, I've heard a lot. I. Uh, my favorite piece of advice, though, that um, this guy, Meg Vicaria, who uh, he found a company called Symphony OS, which is a great marketing company. So check it out if you make music. Um, he he said in a panel, um, I guess, to, like, different artists, all that, um, he said to learn who you are and focus on 
um, your identity and knowing like who you want to be um, before you put stuff out there and put money in it. So if you're like um, becoming an artist, I uh, want to put out music or already put out music. It's good just to like take a break, set yourself back, and really learn who like your what who you are, what your identity is. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean that's super important. Uh, and I feel like all my creative direction has just co- kind of fallen under that. Um, yeah. But yeah, identity is yeah. just crazy important. Yeah, um, I can imagine. I mean, why would you do it for yeah. someone else? Why would you do it for any other reason than yeah, yeah. It kind of fulfills you, makes you. Gives you something. You know? oh, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, and as we're wrapping up here, any any new music that, that you've been checking out recently that people should tap into? Yeah. Um, who should we put on today? Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Um, my friend Mondo Easy uh, from Evanston. Uh, he's doing numbers now, but he just dropped, a, dropped an album. I totally forgot what it's called, but it's so hard. So Go good. check out Mondo Easy. Uh, he's like the hardest rapper in like Chicago area. I swear. Great. Yeah, love yeah. that. Got to support the uh, it's crazy. Yeah, uh, this area. I love it. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay, that's yeah. all we got for you today, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for appreciate coming. Appreciate it. On. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, really appreciate it. This will kick us off pretty well. I'm excited, bro. Yeah. Um, keep me updated. And I will. Hope I'm it goes sh- crazy. Listen to this guy, guys. Benfin. He's coming all platforms. up. Yep. Uh, I'm Benfin. Go check me out. Yep. We'll appreciate link him y'all. everywhere. Don't worry. We got you. Oh yeah. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll be back soon. We've got more episodes on the way. This has been E-Town Tunes. My name is Tim Lister. One more time. And this is Bimpin. Yep. All right. Thanks. Peace. Bye. It's hard. All right. Dude, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate nice job. It. Thank you. For- thank you. For-